Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference and I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Doug Johnson, who's the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Johnson, great to see you again. Hey, great to see you, Adam. Yeah, as you know, we're answering patient questions mm -hmm. and we got a great question from Paige. And Paige asks, Hi Adam, I'm 29 years old and I have a bicuspid aortic valve. I also have an aneurysm. After meeting with three different cardiac surgeons, I was offered a newer technique as an alternative to a tissue or mechanical valve. That technique is the Avneo Azaki procedure. What is the latest update about this procedure? And before you answer, Dr. Johnson, I also want to let you know that Paige is also thinking about starting a family in the near future. So what are your thoughts for her? Well, Paige, that's an excellent question. Uh, we actually just uh, published a study comparing some outcomes with the Ozaki procedure in, in Japan versus a traditional bovine pericardial valve that patients may be very familiar with. It's one of the few studies of its kind, a very large series. Essentially what we found is that the Ozaki operation tends to narrow less, and for those who don't know, the Ozaki procedure uses your own pericardium to recreate a valve. Uh, but there was an increased rate of valve leakage in the first few years after surgery. Not dramatic, but something that we want to be thoughtful about. So in particular, for somebody with an aneurysm like Paige, we want to be very thoughtful about the choice of procedure and whether the aneurysm is big enough that it may alter the impact of a certain choice. Mechanical valve is out since you want to have kids. You still have really good choices. We want to be thoughtful about a tissue valve, a Ross procedure per perhaps, or a Zaki, and get your anatomy to think about those things. I'm glad you're getting multiple opinions. Yeah, well, Paige, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me learn a lot more about the Ozaki procedure. And Dr. Johnson, on behalf of patients at heartvalvesurgery.com and patients all over the world, thanks for all the great work you and your team are doing at Northwestern Medicine. Thanks again for all your help. Hey, thanks a lot, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.